हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पीएम नेटवर्किंग गाइस टॉपिक फॉर द डे इज हाउ टू मेक कम्युनिकेशन पॉसिबल बिटवीन टू डिफरेंट वीलैन टू डिफरेंट वीलैन और मल्टीपल डिफरेंट वीलैन एज यू कैन सी ओवर हियर आई हैव वन टॉपोलॉजी राइट आई हैव टू स्विच स्विच नंबर वन एंड स्विच नंबर टू आई क्रिएटेड टू वीलैन ऑन दिस स्विच राइट एक्चुअली आई विल क्रिएट टू वीलैन ऑन दिस स्विच एंड आई विल क्रिएट टू वीलैन on this switch after that i will make member of this two port to vlan 10 vlan 10 and i will make member of this two port to vlan 20 in the same way i will make member of this two port to vlan 10 and i will make member of this two port to vlan 20 right as you can see over here vlan 10 vlan 20 vlan 10 vlan 20 and by default this user can communicate with this user but this user can never communicate with this user or this user right in the same way this user will never communicate with this user and this user but this user can communicate with this user but before before making communication between this user to this user we have to configure this link as trunk link right we have to configure this port as a trunk port right because by default Uh, a traffic will never cross their vlan boundary right a traffic will never cross their vlan boundary so this user can communicate with this user yes this user can communicate with this user yes this user can communicate with this user yes but this user can never communicate with this user right in the same way this user can never communicate with this user this user and this user right so you will see how to make communication possible between two different vlan with the help of router right so to make communication possible between two different vlan i am using router over here right so what we called it router on a stick router on a stick right so today we will see how to configure router on a stick so right so because i am using router to make communication possible between different vlan that's why what we call this process router on a stick right so first i will configure vlan on this router on this switch right after that i will create two vlan over here after that i will make member of this two port to vlan 10 i will make member of this port to vlan 20 and then i will make member of this port to vlan 10 and again i will make uh, member of vlan 20 to this port right after that i will create two sub interface over here right guys this is my physical interface and how many interface are there one right so we need how many interface two interface one for vlan 10 and one for vlan 20 so i will break one physical interface into two logical interface right and name of this sub interface will be first ethernet 0/0.1 and first ethernet 0/0.2 okay instead of creating two two sub interface over here you can use one more link over here as well right if you use one more link over here you don't need to create two sub interface over here fine so now i am using one link that's why i am creating two sub interface over here two logs two logical interface over here right so first of all let me show you configuration of switch this is my switch number 1 and so vlan as you can see over here this is vlan 1 and all port are member of which vlan vlan 1 by default right native vlan this is my native vlan so all vlan all port are member of vlan 10 by default right right so let me create two vlan over here let me create two vlan over here configure terminal after that interface range fast ethernet 0/122 0/122 right interface number 1 and interface number 2 i am going to put these two interface to vlan 10 so command will be switch port access vlan 10 fine so there is no will there is no vlan 10 so creating vlan 10 okay so this switch will create vlan 10 automatically right 
now let me create vlan 20 over here so vlan 20 after that interface range interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 3 2 4 and switch port access vlan 20 fine let me show you vlan so vlan so vlan right now as you can see over here port number one and two are member of vlan 10 and port number three and four are member of vlan 20 am i right in the same way i have to create two vlan over here as well so let me configure on switch number two as well vlan 10 exit vlan 20 exit right after that interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 1 2 0 slash 1 2 2 and switch port access vlan 10 right interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 3 2 4 and switch port access vlan 20 am i right yes now now these two port are member of vlan 10 and these two port are member of vlan 20 these two port are member of vlan 10 these two port are member of vlan 20 right let me show you over here as well so vlan let me maximize it as you can see over here right so port number one and two are member of vlan 10 and port number three and four are member of vlan 20 let me show you ip address of pc so here i am running ip address 10.0.0.1 slash 8 and default gateway is 10.10 .10. default gateway is 10.10 .10. that means on sub interface 0 slash 0 0.1 i will configure ip address 10.10 .10. and and in vlan 20 okay so i am using network 20 for vlan 20 right and default gateway is 20.10 .10. so i will configure ip address on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 0.2 to 20 dot 10 okay so first of all let me show you ip address and ip address of this pc is definitely 10.1 ip address of this pc is 10.2 ip address of this pc is 20.1 ip address of this pc is 20.2 IP address of this PC is 10.3 IP address of this PC is 10.4 IP address of this computer is 20.3 and last PC IP address is 20.4 and default gateway is 20.10 let me ping 10.2 from here ping 10.0.0.2 so yes i am able to ping yes let me ping 20.1 ping 20.0.0.1 so i am not able to ping why because 20.1 belongs to vlan 20 and i am pinging 20.1 from a computer who is member of vlan 10 right so that's why switch is not allowing to forward traffic in vlan 20 which is receiving at the port who is member of VLAN 10, right? So, switch will never cross the VLAN boundary, right? So, let me configure router. Let me configure router. And after that, I will show you how this PC can communicate with each other. First of all, let me create two sub interface over here. Now, interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 1. This is my sub interface 1 right after that encapsulation for which pro vlan for vlan 10 encapsulation dot 1q i am using dot 1q encapsulation for which vlan for vlan 10 fine after that ip address ip address will be 10.10.0.0.10 .10 .10 submit mask is 255.255 .255. no it's 255.255 .255. it's 255.0.0.0 fine now let me create one another sub interface right 
encapsulation for which VLAN? For VLAN 20. And IP address will be 20.0.0.10.255.0.0.0. Exit. Exit. So IP interface brief. You can see over here on my sub interface 0 slash 0 0.1 IP address is 10.10. .10. On my other sub interface IP address is 20.10. Now if I will ping from this PC to 10.20.1. To Will it ping? What do you think guys? Will it ping or not? 20.1 Earlier it was not pinging. Yeah, right? As you can see over here. Request timeout. But now, will it ping? Yes, definitely it will ping. Right? Just wait. Request timeout and you can see over here it's pinging. But your traffic is, your traffic is moving from router, right? when i am pinging 20.1 from this pc right so source ip will be 10.1 and destination ip will be 20.1 this pc will forward that traffic to this switch now switch will forward this traffic to router now router will router will before actually before forwarding on this interface this is your trunk interface and this is also your trunk interface right i can let me show you Actually, I already configured these two port as a trunk port, right? So, how we verify trunk port? So, interface trunk. So, interface trunk. You can see over here, there is two port. One is fast Ethernet 0 slash 5 and 0 slash 6. These two port are trunk port. Am I right? So, before forwarding a traffic on trunk port, switch will do tagging, right? So, switch will add when this PC will generate... Uh, ICMP request for 20.1 switch will receive that request now switch will forward this to this trunk port before forwarding switch will add tag right that this traffic is for VLAN 10 now this router will receive this traffic at which in interface at sub interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 1 am I right now this router will remove tagging and forward this traffic and router will order this traffic from which interface from 0 slash 0 dot 2 right and again this router switch will receive this traffic and this switch will now forward to this PC so your communication is happening through this router your request is going like this and when this machine is generating reply the reply is also forwarding via router right like this right so when I will ping 20.3 20.3 from 10.1 how your traffic will forward your traffic will reach to switch now switch will forward to router now again router will forward to switch now switch will forward to this switch now this switch will forward to your pc now this pc will generate reply your reply will received by switch one then switch one will again send to router and again router will send to switch one and then switch one will send to pc number zero let me show you let me show you first of all let me ping 20.3 from here ping 20.3 so will it ping yes definitely it will ping just wait for some time now arp is resolving yes now it's pinging let me use simulation mode and let me ping now let me remove it let me okay now let me ping again Yes, ping. Now, as you can see over here, there is one ICMP message generated at PC number 0. Now, this message is received, received by switch. Now, switch will forward to router. Right? Now, router will router will odd this traffic to fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 2. Now, switch will receive. Now, switch again send this traffic to switch number 2. Now, switch number 2 is forwarding this traffic to PC 6. PC6 is member of which VLAN? VLAN 20. That's the reason why this switch is forwarding to port number 0 slash 3. Now this PC is generated reply. A reply is reached by switch number 2, then switch number 1, then again switch number 1 will send to router, then router will send to switch number 1, and now switch number 1 will send to PC number 0. So this is how your communication is happening, right? Your communication is happening between two different VLAN. Your traffic is moving like this.
right so this is inter vlan routing you can say router on a stick because i am using router to make communication possible between different vlan so guys if you like the video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel i am uploading this type of video every day right so whenever i will upload next video you will get notified right so if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel thank you guys thanks for watching that's all for today bye bye see you in next video